So today's students, we're going to look at an example of a 1-3 disconnection. Uh, we've seen examples of 1-2 disconnections where we've disconnected to the epoxide. We've also seen examples of 1-2 disconnections where we've disconnected to the uh, alpha halo carbonyl compound, like an alpha flow or ketone. Uh, but today's example is about a 1-3 disconnection. And you'll see that we can disconnect to a microacceptor and a nuclear file using a 1-3 disconnection. And this is also an example of a two-group disconnection, just like a 1-2 disconnection. Um, so let's uh, now have a look. Before we start with the disconnection, maybe have a look and remind ourselves uh, a little bit about a micro-reaction. Um, so looking at a micro-reaction, um, we know that a micro-reaction occurs between an alpha beta unsaturated ketone um, and a nucleophile. And that nucleophile, I'll just choose a simple amine as an example of a nucleophile. And that nucleophile would add to the beta carbon, that's the alpha carbon, that's the beta carbon, and that's your carbonyl group. Um, electrons would flow toward the carbonyl oxygen in the mechanism, um, you would end up with um, electrons flowing to the um, oxygen atom, ending up with a negative charge on the oxygen atom, and electrons flowing back the pi electrons from the double bond, um, picking up a proton from a weak acid like water would be sufficient to protonate that particular carbon atom. And the result of that would be a ketone with an alpha beta saturated group and a nucleophile. So if we get an example like this, we can work backward because we know now that we can disconnect next to the nitrogen carbon bond. Um, and if we do that, we can take out the most reactive group first and also disconnect to a Michael acceptor. So if I do a basic disconnection like this, I end up with these two symptoms. And if I look at synthetic equivalence, that can be a simple amine. And this synthetic equivalent, because I have a carbonyl group next to um, a beta carbon where the positive charge is, I can now disconnect to a Michael acceptor. Um, so addition of that to that will then lead to this particular molecule. So having a look again, we identify a carbonyl group, two saturated carbons next to the carbonyl group and between the nitrogen and the carbonyl group. So if I look at a carbonyl group, if I look at two carbons away, I should see another heteroatom. So that's a one, two, three disconnection and in a 1-3 disconnection, we can disconnect to a Michael acceptor and a nuclear power. Um, let's look at an application of this. And let's look at a particular example, which will show us how to use this. Or use an example from your books. You can see immediately um, that we have a structure with a carbonyl group and bonded to carbon number three is a nuclear file which I can disconnect. And once I disconnect that, I can immediately disconnect it to 
a Michael acceptor and I might want to at this point see if my carbon atoms are intact. I have six carbon atoms and this beta carbon to that carbon group here, carbonyl group is the seventh carbon. So I've got six and seven carbons in my structure. So that's fine. And my nuclear bar. Um, if I look at a typical synthesis of this, I would probably add nuclear file to the Michael acceptor. And the reaction would occur by nucleophilic attack on the beta carbon, electrons flowing toward oxygen again, resulting in a bond between the nitrogen atom and my carbon atom that you see here. The double bond would now be on the carbon adjacent to the carbon of the carbonyl group on it. Electrons were flowing to the oxygen, so the negative charge would be on oxygen and attached to the carbon next to the nitrogen would be the phenyl group. When the electrons flow back, We could probably protonate it using a weak acid like water, and that would give us the product that we desire. Looking at the product again, you'd see that there's carbon numbers 1, 2, and 3. And carbon number 3 was the phenyl group and your nuclear file that you clearly had when you started off with. There's 7 carbons in your molecule, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and the 7th one. And there's 7 carbons here as well. So that shows you how to to a disconnection, a uh, 1 3 disconnection to a Michael acceptor. So I hope you can use all the tools that you've learned so far um, to do disconnections, um, remembering the basic steps, um, identifying your bonds to the heteroatoms, um, then looking for the most reactive group to disconnect first. Uh, then looking at 1-2 disconnections or 1-3 disconnections because those two group disconnections are better than one group disconnections and find a suitable method to synthesize your molecule. Hope you enjoyed this video and I'll catch you in the next one.